Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's going to be something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how to be able to clean the front lens on a Canon 100 to 400 millimeter. Here's the lens here and um, what the, the problem is on this lens there's mold on the front lens so what I'm going to do is actually show you how to be able to strip this and be able to clean it. Let me first of all just see if I can show this to you. There you can actually see one of There's one of the spots there and there's the second spot. There's actually three spots all together, but um, the weird thing about this is even though I bought it with the, um, the mold on there, when I connect it to my camera, you don't see the marks or the mold at all. And um, with large images, something like a swan, no problems with the focusing. When you get down to a mallard, no problems with the focusing. As soon as you get to distance, that is when you use a little bit of focus with it. And um, I think that is because the sensor is actually picking up the, the mold there that is actually on the lens, that you can't just be able to tweak that last little bit. But in the viewfinder and in the pictures itself, you can't actually see the spots. So what we're going to do is get down to it and um, get this thing cleaned. And if you like what you actually see today, please subscribe to the channel. It's very important. Give it a like and then tickle the little bell icon if you want to see um, more notifications on this channel. I'm trying to make it as open as possible everything to do with photography and how to be able to use your camera and out in the field seeing different birds different wildlife not just in the UK but overseas as well so anyway guys sit back enjoy so the first thing that we've got to do is be able to remove these three screws that's around the camera So anyway, what's actually happened now, we've removed the outer ring that exposes the next lot of screws. So let's take those off.
Right, so what we do next is actually remove the three screws that is on the outside here to remove that this section of the lens. always remember to actually put the screws inside a little box don't leave them where you actually work and otherwise you're going to knock something off and the tiny screws that are actually on here it'll be a marathon to do it well to be able to find it should I say It's never as easy as you want it to be. I can feel the screw clicking, it's just that the parts are really tiny. So that just slides off there. I moved the camera over to the left hand side now because I realized that I'm right handed and you guys not might not be able to see everything that I'm doing. So there's one thing that you've got to do is be able to mark where the first set of screws was. Now I've slightly moved this at the moment, that's how easy it is to be able to remove it, but I know that that screw must actually line up with that one. You see how easy it is for screws to be able to fly off? We'll look for that later. I'm going to put this on an angle because I don't want that repeating that it goes over to the left hand side again.
hope you guys notice that I've got a little bit of a rattle here. That's just signs of a misspent youth. No serious illness. Oh, there's another screw that went flying. So that's all the screws actually removed now. So what we do is just remove the lens itself now. I don't know if you guys can see, but the amount of muck that's on that lens and mould is unbelievable. How it's not affecting the shot at all, I don't know. Believe it or not, it's not actually mould, it's grains of paint. Quick little brush like that, you can actually see that it's already cleared most of everything off the lens. actually got a little piece of what's come out of the lens and it's actually definitely paint don't think you're going to be able to see it but just that little spot there loads of those spots of grain whatever it is Just make sure guys that I don't like touching the lens at all. You can hold it if you want to but what I do is take a cloth like this, good quality cloth and then use a proper uh, lens cloth always try and do this under a light as well because the last thing that you actually want is for the lens to be dirty again once you put everything back and the best way to do it is actually hold it up to the light and then you can see where the actual dirt is this is reasonably clean as it is at the moment. But it's just the outside edge that still needs to be cleaned. 
and that's where it actually picks up most of the dirt. Just tilt the lens backwards and forwards just to make sure that you haven't left any scuff marks on it at all. And then take the lens itself again and then just give it a good check. And then just be careful with this other lens because remember that bottom lens actually floats so don't put too much pressure on it at all. So guys, what we actually do next, in the large slots, that's where we actually put the plastic plug, line the hole up with it, and then put all three screws all in. And then that way, it makes it a lot easier to be able to line up just try and show you in the light. See here you've got the large slots that the plugs fit into and here we've got the smaller slots where you actually put the other screws in. So what we've got now guys, we've got the large slot with the plastic plug inside plus the screw and we've got these small ones that's in position as well, well, oh, excuse me, as well now. So all we've got to do is just be able to tighten all this stuff up now. Just remember to actually use the smallest screwdriver that you've possibly got because it's not the easiest thing in the world to be able to use these watchmaker screwdrivers but it can be done.
So guys, what we actually do next, we line up those holes with the other cover and then just remember which I just nearly forgot is that we've got all the writing that's got to fall in line which is actually there so as you can see we still got the writing that's all in line so then we take our next set of screws that was actually on there push them into place I never screw anything tight until I've got all the screws inside I wasn't going to bore you completely for those guys that have stayed with the video to be able to see everything through to the end by putting those other screws in first I thought it'd be a lot easier just explaining exactly where it goes Now this part that we're actually doing here is one of the most important to the actual lens because this secures that front section of the lens that we can bring the focus in and out like that. Otherwise, what would have happened before, that whole section would have just slid in straight off. So guys, the last thing to do is to put this O-ring on and then put this other band that's actually on that holds the o-ring in position Just make sure that you've got the screws the right way up. So there's actually a little grub screw that goes in here. It doesn't really tighten anything up, it just holds the band in position.
So that's the reassembly all done and it actually looks like everything's working. Well guys, I hope this has been useful to you and I um, hope that you managed to be able to get something out of the video, especially if you've got problems with your own lens at home. So as I say once again, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because um, from this time on I'm going to be given some more useful tips in the future. So. I'll see you the next time.